A4. On the last episode of Zelda Skyward Sword, Link played matchmaker for a small inbred island community. Fi sang a song. Groose met a G-Milf with a Doug Dimidome hat. A lot happened last time. It didn't feel like a lot happened. We did a temple and then we just kind of did a, a variety of assorted other things. But uh, today we're collecting tears, which we also did a little of last stream. We attempted it. We didn't succeed, but it doesn't seem as bad as uh, as Darian says that people apparently make it out to be. I don't know. I hadn't heard anything about this part of the game, so... How much are these guys worth? No, I don't want to blow the butterflies. There's the, there's the net. Those are supposed to be rare. Like, these, these are probably worth a lot. Then again, they kind of seem like they're only rare in name only. Like, we've seen a bunch of them. Hello, Darian. Well, immediately continuing where we left off. Maybe my mistake was just trying to do this at the end of a stream. Maybe now that I'm fresh, there won't be the, the mysterious final piece escaping my view. Yes, I know how this works. I have experienced this in a past timeline. Yep, I got it. You didn't need to explain the first time. watching the uh, new Urusei Yatsura series with Jack just before streaming. And it occurred to me, we we have series now, like, e fantasy video game isekai is so prevalent and so common that it's now just kind of become accepted that there are some series that use, like, video game terminology even though they don't, like, explicitly take place in a video game. Like, you'll just have a fantasy series about a swordsman who talks about his, his stats and, and equipment that gives him better stats and things like that. There are series that have become, like, self-aware about video game tropes in that way. And it made me wonder, when are we going to get, like, an anime that is self-aware about the fact that it's a remake? Like, I feel like this isn't the first version of me. Like, I, like I've existed in, an, in another form before. Not... I have not been reincarnated. The entire world has been reincarnated. It could be played straight, or it could be played for laughs, completely depending on how you want to handle it. I think the discussion started because we finally got, like, like we watched, like, episode two. And the new Urusei is really weird because, uh, it feels very modern in a lot of ways. But it is like someone threw a, a bunch of cassette tapes, thereby confirming it must still take place in the 80s. Final Fantasy VII Remake does that. They they reference... They, they reference the possibility of, like, the other timeline where things happen differently. Even then, though, that's still, like, uh... 
that's still like the same time period and the the, the like there's a different continuity of events between Final Fantasy 7 and the remake but they're more or less the same general worlds like you don't have one that is is cyberpunk and one that is steampunk or something like that as I can while I'm here, because this is the only place I can get them. It says it's a remake, but the plot is treated like a sequel. Aerith is aware of everything that has happened and is going to happen. Do you mean like she's aware of what happened in the original timeline, with like her dying and everything? I'm sure that's one way to do it. Sounds interesting enough. How many have I got? I am still missing three. I found all but one last time. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, I see their beacons. I bet this is the one that I didn't get last time because I didn't like I didn't climb these. We don't have to do this like vine jumping thing a lot. Probably for the best. All right, two more over this way. the last one. All right. Dink's spirit has grown. Okay, and then we have to make it back to the entrance. Which way was the entrance? Do we have a spirit map? We do. Uh... Where am I? Oh, I'm down here, okay. Go away. No, don't climb the wall, dink! You dumbass! There's a gate here? Really? Well, that's not good. Hmm. That's okay. I'm surprised he fit through there. Wait, how do I get back over that way? Uh... I gotta go through the tunnel again. Oh, there's one waiting for me. Hello. Goodbye.
I guess that's spirit building. Running from giant, like, scary armor men. But Ethan's spirit was built a little bit after every Resident Evil experience. Oh, it's the scrotum again. Hello. I hadn't hoped to see you again. You have passed this trial. The water dragon scale is one of the goddess's sacred gifts. It's also one of Rupo Rudo's weapons in, in Hyrule Warriors. Now we can swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Scrotum. Have you seen any flames around here? If you have well, the water dragon scale, you can swim through the water like a dragon source through the sky. Okay, so I'm looking for water. It's, uh, that seems telling. Would either be down here or over there, presumably. We do still have an oxygen meter. <laughs> Them JPEG ass bubbles. Once again, feeling very Spyro like. Boy, those things are here. The flying... Are these ones electric? I guess the other ones weren't electric either. They just had spikes. I don't like these things. Now, do they respawn? They're like the they're they're the equivalent of the of the metal mines in Majora. They're just floating obstacles that explode on impact. Can I cut these? No. Legend of Zelda, Spyroad Sword. Okay, I can't make that. No, go up. Swim faster. Go up. Okay, uh... I think I know what they want. I think this is like the Deku Leaf in, uh, in Wind Waker. Yep, I gotta blow myself. Dink is young, he's athletic, he can do it. that I could take over. I might have been able to swing to that if I really tried to. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. Do you still think I'm making good time, or does this seem like about average progression through the game? Oh, <laughs> 
Jack asked how far along I was, and I didn't know what to tell him, because this seems like Twilight Princess. The story just kind of does what it wants, and there's no obvious way to measure progress. All right, you're getting it, spider. Ah, oh, it didn't work. About at the halfway point. All right. Go up faster, beetle. I had no reason to be this conservative with slingshot bullets, but. I just like using this thing. Oh, there's a bee's nest. Okay. Uh, hmm. Where is that gonna fall when I hit it? Oh, I could have carried it away from myself. I got a Deku Hornet. I'm gonna catch all of them. Nope, a couple of them wised up. Wait till you finish this game in another three streams. Well, I think I'm only, only planning to do the five-hour streams today and tomorrow, so... I guess we'll have to see what comes after that. Stamina fruit. There it is. I said maybe I could finish it uh, Saturday and then we finish the randomizer on Sunday. We'll see. Oh, hello. We haven't met you. We haven't met before. Oh, these Moblins are way tougher than the ones in Ocarina. Ow. Alright. Uh-oh. Wait, what happened? I guess it exploded close enough to him anyway. Alright. I fluked into that vi victory. The great, tr the nameless great tree. This tree does not have a face, a name, or an identity. It is simply great. Hello, more Bokoblins. Blukoblins. Probably use some drops from them. I think I need more, uh, I need monster horns wherever I get those from. Are these just like regular old keys? Yeah, regular keys. I can't believe I, I said, keep saying this, I can't believe I'm at this point of the game and still do not have a better projectile weapon than a slingshot. Alright, 
Alright, cutscene. From this vantage point, you have a good view of the woods. Perhaps you'll see an area you- Oh! No, I thought this was the area. I came up here just to look around? It is Anu Kikwi. <laughs> Bob Marley. Keys drop monster claws. Okay. Well, uh... I bet we can safely fetch this gentleman. If he falls, I was not in control of this beetle. I am not liable. I'm napping! Oh, look at that! A real live human! Haven't seen one of you in a while! He used to call me Yerbal. Don't know how you wandered all the way up here, but let me ask you something. Can you really see me? No. You're a fibbity fibber. You're a phony. How did you pig me with your fancy shooter thing? A, a, a beetle, but yeah. What if I bombed him? Could I have landed a bomb on him? Tell me about the flame. You're not questing for a flame to enhance your sword. You can find someone important to you. Promise not to breathe a word of what I'm about to tell you? Yeah, no promises. You can't keep a secret! Alright. Remember, it's a secret to everybody. They expect- I- I know. I'm using the stupid beetle in places that I shouldn't be. I thought I had to, like, pick him up and bring him to me. I guess that would have been too nice. No, they wanted me to just, like, peg him in the face. God escaped the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over Farron Woods. The way I hear it is she left the flame in care of the water dragon so that one day the mighty dragon could pass it on to the one from the sky. Got a hunch the talk goddess was talking about you, lad. That settles that. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. Okay. The lair is deep in a lake in the south of these woods. Gate that leads to that lake. That that was a very conspicuous door that I couldn't get through before. Open the gate. You have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved into its doors. Only way you'll know what the completed symbol should look like is to first find that same completed symbol somewhere else in these woods. Just gonna, he's just gonna tell me where to go to find the thing. Well, if I don't have to figure it out, if I just have to, like, walk there, that's more of a fetch quest than anything. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is very persnickety about manners. Heard stories of folks who caught her in a fussy mood. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to fight the, we're gonna have to fight the Water Dragon, aren't we? Okay. This happens a lot in Nintendo games. Having to climb a giant tree to speak to, like, a mystical elder at the top. Like, having a Paper Mario, anyway. I'm sure there are other examples that I'm forgetting about.
I don't know if there's ever going to be a Zelda game where you just you fall too far and you just die, and that's it. Doesn't matter how many hearts you have. Maybe Breath of the Wild. One Farron Grasshopper. Alright, amazing. It's a target. Kind of. And now I'm going to the south. You know what? I don't like you. Much better. combat in this game does look very goofy. Not quite to the same degree as that Bleach game, but it's it's the same kind of thing. It's just mashing the same sweep over and over again in a very awkward looking way. Oh no, I forgot about you. No drops. It's so hard to get slime drops. Southern Link. Where are we gonna get Cowboy Link? We need the uh, Julius Belmont of Lynx. Technically speaking, there is a Link who finally put down Ganon for good. That was like the Zelda 1 Link. Uh... Well... I know what it's supposed to look like, how does this help me? It needs, like, a circle there. Do I need to, like, find a circle? Uh, Fi, what useless advice do you have for me? Thanks, Fi. I knew I couldn't count on you. He has a shield with a cross. That's right. That is the like the Christianity exists era of uh, of Zelda. Uh. What? I don't even remember how to objective. Is that what I want? Require more information on the flame. Yeah, now I know that. I need to make this symbol match the other symbol, but I, I'm missing, I guess, a round piece of stone. Is that what I want? Can I put a dinner plate up there? Will that suffice? I don't understand what this game wants me to do. Hello, 13 and man. Uh...
How's the playthrough going? I'm getting stuck a lot. There's a lot of uh, obtuse puzzles in this game, and uh, Phi is utterly useless in trying to uh, suss out what to do. I, I need to, like... I need to make this have a circle in the middle of it. And that's all the information I know. I don't, I don't know how to do that. I just went and I spoke to the dude on the, at the top of the tree. Maybe I need to go talk to the giant dude again? Oh, keys. Y'all got any claws? Drops are really rare in this game. We're not getting them very often. Would you like- yes, I would like some help. This is the part where I, I am stuck. If I have some direction of where to go, like, I'm fine figuring out, this- this is no direction. I wonder- no, I need the hookshot to get over there. I need to do a skyward strike in front of that door. I- I did that! Detection of actually looking at the temple is really bad. What, what do you mean, looking at the temple? I, I guess I didn't do a precise enough Skyward Strike. Well, that's... that's what I need. I assume you don't... you meant, like, striking the door, not this. But, uh, I will... I'll, I'll do this real quick just in case, I don't know. Yep. This is a... Thank you. I had memorized the shape. I, I wasn't aware that I could even summon Fi and get her to, like, talk about specific locations. I don't think that's a mechanic that we've used before now. Like, actually summoning Phi to trigger a flag. Usually she just pops out on her own. See, obviously the symbols are different, so my assumption is that I needed to make them the same somehow. No. No, I, ju I guess I just needed to manually pull out Phi to trigger the thing. Oh, draw? Draw? Okay. Another new mechanic. We Mario Party now. Master Dink, your circle is awful. This will never open the temple. Whoops, nope, don't need those yet. Oh, come on! That's circle enough, there we go. Link was not born to be an inscriber. 
Thank you. Thank you, Fi. You know, I didn't know for sure if there was a flame past here, but now that you say there's an 80% chance, I feel much more confident. Uh... Well... Geronimo! Lake Florida. I guess it counts as a lake. It just kind of seems more like a reservoir because it's got water flowing in and out of it. Nice music here. Oh, hello. Do we have Zoras? No, we don't. It's Jellyf. Hello, friend. Where are you going? Quit following me, pest! If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell Her Excellence the Water Dragon about your little incursion! Yeah. Uh, hmm. Do we have water bombs in this game? Oh, come on. He can fit through that. Look at all these unique races that we never see again. I mean, sure. They all fundamentally serve the same purposes as the races we already had in Zelda. And they're also they're also kind of ugly, but I, whatever, sure, new new stuff. What do you have to say, Jelly friend? Human in the water. Look at him trying to flap around in the water. Never knew there were humans who could dive this deep. Can you also do a spin? Uh, let's find out. Uh... Does this count? Is this spinning? I'm gonna make a whirlpool and smash through the wood. Spinning my stick is not doing anything. Uh, Phi. I can't summon Phi. Phi does not like coming out in the water. Uh, spin person, can you teach- can you tell me more? Teach me to spin. I- I don't know. How do I do it? I'm gonna- I'm gonna start pressing buttons. None of the face buttons appear to do anything. I only see these two NPCs to talk to. Try the attack button. What, what, it, there isn't an attack button in this game. The attack button is like flicking your stick. And that's not doing anything. Oh, it's the, it's the, it's the roll button. Which is the left stick click. We almost never use that. 
How is that even possible? I've never he seen a human pull off a spin like that. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a missionary. Take me to your leader. This weirdo came in with a gang of monsters and went right after her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter, and boy, did she gobble up most of the monsters in the first few seconds. There were just so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. Special water? Okay. Let's go, Jar Jar. Take me to the planet core. I missed the first dialogue. I was expecting something. Uh, the pile of rocks, I assume, is the problem. Here we go. Just propelled myself into a spike fish. That's fine. I can take a hit. Dink is tough. I'm gonna be able to, like, catch these fish. At some point. They look too elaborate to be decorative. Hello, new friend. I'm making so many new friends today. Mr. Human Person, do you know how to do a spin jump? Spin up towards the water surface, you can do- Oh, we got Zora swimming? Alright, I'm gonna breach. Yeah! I'm a fucking fish! You humans and your bones! Yeah, we do have those. There we go. This is so fucking weird. This is not something a human should be able to do. Yeah, okay, water dragon, that makes sense. It's like, it's like having a, a, a fake half Zora item. Oh, there's, there's, there's a bunch of slimes around here. Cool it with the racism. Dry men can't jump. go to the sky from here. Is there, is there an opening? I guess there is. This is like the uh, Zor's Domain equivalent of this game. I can see this game like taking risks and being creative, but I also can see a lot of the uh, a lot of the, like, repeti repetition, Zelda standards criticism. It's a lot of the same types of areas, but with, like, different... different species and different names slapped on. Alright, where are we going now? Place was perfectly peaceful for the longest time, then weirdo people like you started showing up. Oh, I get it. Just because me and Gearham are the same race, even though we're kind of not, 
Okay, why does the why, why does the demon person look like a human? He could just as easily look like any other race. Why why doesn't he like a Goron or one of these things? It could have just as easily turned out that I'd be racist against fish-looking creatures because the demon lord looked like one of those. Okay. It's it's this. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to, like, looking like Atlantica. Da -da 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 Okay. We have a pompadour fish. I'm gonna guess I have to smash into its giant X weak point. Yep. I just, I smack into its head and then I smack into its ass. It's so, it's so Atlantica. This door. That didn't work. Uh, what is this? Am I gonna hurt myself? No. No, it's fine. Okay. Spin! There's a skull up here. That's such an ordinary things. A, an ordinary thing in this video game that you would never see in real life. Just walking around and seeing a random skull sitting on the ground. Well, nothing up here. This sounds like JRPG music. This isn't music that I expect to hear in a Zelda game. This is music I expect to hear in a Dragon Quest game. It was like a, there was like a Dragon Quest Pokemon announced at the uh, recent Nintendo Direct. Looked a little cool. I don't know if I'm quite attached enough to the Dragon Quest monsters to want to play a whole game like that, though. Okay. It's a key fish. It's a water steel type. I will drill my way to the queen. Alright, where's King Trident? I know you say Dragon Queen. It's King Trident. I've been here before. Hello? Now, what's she gonna look like? Is there, is there gonna be art of her on certain websites? Yeah, there's at least a few pics. I can already tell. You've intruded into my home. Oh, well... I what did you want me to do? Knock first? This is no place for one such as you. Uh, are you the water dragon? Those with manners addressed me as Farron, Warden of the Woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. My current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say. Know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. 
I say, that's one of my scales you have there. A sacred gift like that could only be carried by the goddess's chosen hero. Now, I found this on the ground. It was like ne next to a trash can, but yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm the chosen one. Even with the scale in your possession, finding my hull is no easy task. That cackling old hermit Kikui told you where I live, didn't he? Can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. She doesn't sound that courteous. Especially considering that she apparently eats people. I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. I'll bet she would have given it to Groose. She would have looked at Groose and been like, Yes, you're hero material, clearly. I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Girahim. Stood against this self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I have been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Fish Queen bath water on sale now. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Is that like, like a euphemism for pee in Japan or something? Yeah, it's holy water. No, don't look it up. Sure. Okay. I can now help you douse for the water type. We're literally looking for bottled bath water. All right, back to the woods. Yeah, I don't like her. She's got she's got like that that pompous full of herself rarity thing going on. Always got to be dousing. At least in theory, we only have to bring her one bottle, I hope. I only have two of them, and one of them's in storage. Floria Waterfall. Alright, this will be a convenient warp location. Surely this can't be it. That would be too easy. Oh, well, it looks pretty sacred. It looks like uh, pretty holy water. Alright, another shortcut. This game is good about having, like, shortcuts to places. On my estimates, you are currently situated in the southwest area. Oh, hello. You weren't here the last time I was here. Have I been here before? He's not he's not very fast. He doesn't back enough back away quickly enough to avoid these things. Oh. Oh, I can just slice up the shield. Yeah, I guess he's just affected by a really big blast radius. If only I could start cooking the bomb in my hand. I assume these are the way you're supposed to, like, deal with these things. Again, because this is their weakness in Hyrule Warriors, I'm, I might be making some assumptions. All right. 
So either I haven't been to this area before, or else, uh... There's just now new enemies that are going to spawn in, the, in these areas. No, I've been here before, because there's a log down here. Yeah, this was the entrance of the forest. There definitely was not a moblin here last time. Get out of here, Keese. Drop a claw. Oh, there's, they're annoying and they're not even useful. So I don't know why he does that. He just, when he's dousing, he just looks up sometimes. I'm not doing that. We, we going back to the temple? I think this was the temple. Where does this go? Deep woods. Yeah, we're going to the temple. again. I need like uh hold on. One of the one of the drops I need is like uh it's like bee larva or honey or something. Something I would get from the hive, I think. No, pick it up. Against my better judgment, I'm just gonna bring it right to me. Yeah. Whoops! That part was an accident. Oh, and the hive is gone. It wasn't even useful to me. All right. <laughs> that was definitely worth it. Uh. Oh, the rope, the bridge is gone. There was a rope bridge here. Huh. Uh. 
can I no longer get to the temple? I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have to find a bird statue and warp there. Man! Oh, there's a shortcut I can take. No, get off. Jack would hate these enemies, they blend in. Thankfully, there's a little bit of auto-homing when you're fighting. I don't have to aim particularly precisely for the slimes. Yeah, there's just, uh, there's just moblins all over the place now. didn't work. I don't like these guys. These guys are annoying to fight. They take too many hits. Also, they have jiggle physics. We don't need to see that. You can just hit them. I, c I could swear I tried that and it just like the sword bounced off of them. Alright, dousing, where are we going? Are we going down? Yeah, we're going down. We have to get the sacred fungus water. Magical healing dark souls juice. Not possible to use your dousing ability here. I estimate the water is located in the deepest part of the temple. Okay. Isn't that where the boss door was before? Are we just going to the same boss door again? Oh, we got these stupid spider webs again. Now I remember why I didn't like this place. Well, at least the shortcuts that I unlocked here should still be in place. Oh, hello. What are you doing here, Iori? Hold it, you're that guy! That guy I met in the volcano! You to do some treasure hunting? Yes. Did the big stone guy out there tip you off to the loot, too? The stone guy. Strum a chord most beautiful in the place within the temple where the butterflies dance. Okay. Well, I guess I can do that. You're not needed anymore. I strummed the thing. You can leave now, Iori. I'll dig up your hole, though. Take your cash. Uh. 
Why? Okay, but what about this thing on the wall? Are, are we supposed to, like, do something with it? I thought we, like, we played a thing. Maybe we gotta, maybe we gotta do this. This. I gotta draw? Uh... It looked like a giant orange slice. Yeah, that was it. Wow, that worked. I thought that wasn't like progression though. I thought that would be like progression. Uh well, now I could warp to the the statues inside here. Wait, uh, they locked the door again? No, I just unlocked that. I mean, you know, last time I was here, but oh, so there's digging holes now. They're really gonna have me do the same dungeon a second time. Okay. All right, I see how it is. I thought they just wanted me to go to the end again, but no, I have to they they, they relocked doors that I previously lo unlocked. Well, that worked out. Uh, I, mean, I can't even tell like what parts of the dungeon I've been to before now. I just have to re-explore every room. I guess. Well, I can swim now, so maybe that'll lead to something new. Hit that already, that's not new. Swimming has not does not seem to have unlocked anything in this particular room. Okay, you're, you're just gonna be here the whole time. And the key's in a hole. Sorry if my voice is not selling the enthusiasm of coming back to a dungeon I've already completed a second time. Are there holes on the ground? Do I get no, that's water. Okay, I shouldn't need I don't need to go down there. Unless 
Uh, one of these, one of these rooms had like a tunnel to swim through. Was it this one? Get out of here. Think it was the other one. I'll read this just in case. Room with two glittering gemstones. I have to go to the room with the X and strike something else to reveal a new path. What, they even updated the hints since I was last here. music is still pretty ambient, but I just got a little more going on than, uh, like Majora Dungeons did, at least, musically. Two doors lead to rooms left and right. Yeah, okay, that's this- that- that hint was there last time. Maybe the other one was there and I just forgot. Uh... Was this the room? This was the room with the swim tunnel. Except it's like, it's not a swim tunnel, it's a crawl tunnel, so... Yeah, I can go through here again. Although there doesn't appear to be anything new in here. I'm still looking for a uh, digging hole. I need a key. Uh, how did I get up here? I remember it was a process. Did it have to do with climbing? I think I had to, like, jump to some vines. Yeah, it was over there. Speedrunner strat for the spider webs is to roll through them. I don't find myself rolling a whole lot in this game, just because it's on such an inconvenient button. A combination of buttons, even. You can't roll unless you're already 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 running in this one. Oh, hello. for a dirt hole. Oh. I thought I'd been everywhere by now. Have I missed any? Did I blind somewhere? Maybe there's a hole up there? Nah, I like the beetle better. Beetle is much more reliable. They don't run from the beetle. The beetle they see as a friend. I came really close to it. So I just, I just didn't see it, I guess? Uh, 
Uh, this was the shortcut. Tell me about the key. Yes, it might not be in this room after all. You don't happen to have a map, do you? Well, yes, I do. Did I miss this? No? for another swim. <sighs> In the tunnel? I can't dig underwater, can I? There was no, like, grounded area in here that- was there? Oh, there's vines. This stupid mole. I forgot, last time I was in the room I had to find a way out that wasn't the way I came in. There's a lot of places that I think I would have gotten stuck on this game as a kid. Drop a claw. Come on. Alright, we're in this room again. Uh, this is the beetle room. With all the guess and check tunnels everywhere. Where are we going? I guess we should go to the other side and see what is, like, obstructing our progress. If anything. Probably another locked door again. No, door's open. Are the vines gone? Thankfully, that did not blow the rope up. Alright, hello, Mr. Mole. Mr. Quartz. 
Dig some serious miles, get my paws on treasure, and I found squat! Talk about bad luck! I think some no-good thief beat me the goods! There's nothing here but water now! Yeah. I came all this way for that gamer queen bathwater. Don't you dare judge me! Do I, get, I gotta find another boss key again, don't I? They bother to craft a new lock for the door with a new shaped key in it. No, never mind. No, the keys, the door's still open. I would have been pressed by the hustle if they pulled that off. What was that lady that sold bathwater again? I, I don't remember. I'm sure you could you could just look up like gamer girl bathwater on like know your meme you'd find out. You know what? Sword fighting sounds like a hassle. Let's do this instead. This seems like a better idea. Bombs are so useful. They're great. Why use anything else? Uh, am I dealing damage? I can't quite tell. Bella Daphne, that was it. Uh... What about pots? Pots are always good. Oh, they're actually giving me bombs, so they want me to use them, maybe. I can't- I assume I'm dealing damage, but I can't tell for sure. They're not, like, flashing red or anything. I am. All right. What if I prepare a second bomb after the first one? Yeah, get got. There we go. They're tough in this game. Stalfos became a lot tougher after Ocarina. Like, Ocarina, they were supposed to be tough, but they kind of, like, weren't. You could just kind of, like, keep stabbing them forever and they'd eventually go down. Wind Waker is when they just really became a pain in the ass. They were the most annoying enemies in Wind Waker. I don't remember if there were stuff. There must have been Stalfos in Twilight Princess. Because there were, like, Stal Masters and the Stal Lord. Like stal dogs. They're also like a bunch of little skeletons. I don't know if those were stalfos or stal children. Because <laughs> they didn't look like children. They just kind of looked like uh, dwarfish adults. The little, the little Twilight Princess skeletons. I was going to say, that better not respawn the skeletons. It conveniently respawns the hearts, though. Alright, where's my water? Awesome. 
No, I, I have to douse? There's, there's water everywhere. Surely the stuff that's sacred would be identifiable, right? Now, only one of the spouts is sacred. I have to get it from that spout specifically. Is it the spout, or is it the spot where, like, the fish are congregated? No, it's one, one specific spout. This is the holy spout. The other spouts are impure. I got some sacred water. Thank you, Fi. I didn't know what to do next. Nope, keep facing that way. I'm gonna get him right in the butt. I got a couple off. Okay, so this is damaging him. It's just not totally obvious that it's damaging him because it doesn't, like, stun him. They're just- they're unflinching is what they are. Might also be worth noting I'm playing with an audio delay, so I can't always tell by audio cues when exactly they're happening. When's the last time De Blob appeared in media? Is he in the MCU? De Blob? Pretty sure he was in some, at least like one of the old X-Men movies. Right? Uh... Florio, that, that's the place. Florio Waterfall. X-Men is not yet MCU. Like, none of them? Well, I know the movies aren't, but have they, have they like, made any references to the X-Men in any of the MCU movies? I've only watched Iron Man. That's the only MCU movie I've watched. I'm not big on superheroes. Uh, where am I? I think I'm facing the wrong... What's back here? This must be something. Can I just not go there yet? I'm sure that'll be later. All right, queen. I got your bath water. This seems like another one of those ruling gods that really should not be a ruling god. I don't know if she ever, like, does anything guardian spirity, but uh, she sure orders people around and eats people a lot. All right, I'll pour your bath water. He was in a real hurry to do that. He didn't want to linger. Even Dink was like, this is weird. She only eats monsters, not people. I don't know, that, that, that Kikwi guy said I had to be careful about getting eaten. I think I trust him more than I trust her. The full majesty of Farron. Yeah, she's full of herself, too. 
I stand tall, healed, and whole once again. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked you for. I see now that it, it was no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained a water dragon scale. Okay. Yep. Give give me your flame. I'd see a key. I'd say a kiki is closer to a monster. Are you? So you're saying she's racist then? I mean, that's a sentient, friendly life form. Like, eating, a, eating a kiki is as bad as eating a person. got like uh she's within a few degrees of a vaporeon oh. aren't bokoblin sentient also see I, i've i've wondered that i thought for the longest time that they were like uh they were like dark magic creations of ganon's that he like he like he summons up when he needs like a, an army to invade the world that would make it more morally, morally acceptable to, like, be taking them out. As opposed to them just being, like, some race wandering around the world. But no, this is pre-Ganon, so I guess they are just wildlife. Reasonably intelligent wildlife. Which raises some moral dilemmas. There we go. Don't give Rule 34 artists any ideas. There is one picture of her. That is one too many. I'd wager there's probably more than one on Fur Affinity. Ancient Cistern. Oh. Oh, we got another, like, dungeon. Ka maybe? How involved is this gonna be, I wonder? Maybe it's like a mini dungeon. I would do like a, a, a half of an old dungeon. And then I do a, like a, another half sized dungeon. Maybe that's how this is gonna go. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out our gameplay loop here. Okay, this is gonna be involved. We got another, like, uh... We got another Eastern-themed dungeon. We kind of had that with the fire... The Earth the earth Temple. No, jump on the lily pads. I'm, just, I'm trying to see if they flip over from this height. I don't know if that'll be useful in any way. No, they don't. We gonna get the hook shot soon? No, no. Oh, that's horrifying. Link, please. Okay, whatever, that worked. Strike the gemstones pointing in four directions wisely. Okay, 
We, we got one of those hit the things in the right order puzzles. And also a locked door, so I guess we're not going this way yet. Wait, can we leave? Or are we stuck down here? Uh... I must be able to progress from here somehow. There's this over here. What can I do with this? I can just ride it up. All right. That's not like the water spouts in Ocarina. You couldn't ride those ones up. Were those in Ocarina, or were they- yeah, they were in the Water Temple. Uh... We gonna get, like, a grappling hook? Cause I don't have that yet. Oh, there's slimes in the water. There also looks to be a door underwater. Which means either I can open doors underwater or else I will have to drain this room. Nah, that, or that might just not be a door. There's a rupee. That's nice. I'll take that. Probably should have seen that coming. As I was going for it, I was thinking, hmm, robbing an ancient temple can't possibly be a bad idea. Whip? Well, I don't, I don't have a whip yet, so, uh... That's not happening. Is there anything down here? No, there is not. There's only a door in the statue's backside, not not in the front side. There's another uh, trap rupee. I can apparently jump out of the water on this side because there's a there's a stone thing up here. What do you have to say? Carved into the great statue are inscriptions of gratitude. They reveal the secret order of this temple. Back, rear, back of right, back of left. Back and re back and rear are the same thing. That's what it means like the the back as in the the body part, <laughs> and the rear as in the body part. I think that's what it means. However, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these, like, panels that it's describing. There's the back. Hmm. 
back and then rear. I can't really see these, the backs of these hands. Okay, there it is. So top, bottom, left, right. Or top, bottom, right, left. What is that? Oh, it's just a flower. <laughs> Spider webs. I hate them. bottom left right once again that's a very convoluted puzzle for a game targeted at children uh well there's spiders here what is this we got emperor's new groove music video game, not the movie. That did, how did that not work? I hit it, I hit its, its weak point thing. I see it. I see it over there. You're not gonna catch me by surprise. Get out of here. A lot of enemies in this game are bugs. I guess it's the same amount as any other Zelda game. We just got, uh, Skulltulas. Skullwalchulas. And, uh... Occasionally bees. My god, bees. Alright, well I'm here, now what? Uh... Oh, there's a, there's a, a tunnel in this room. Did I not have to come up here at all? There must be something up there, or there wouldn't be an up there. Oh, I see what, what it is. I need to get up there so that I can jump down on the on the thing and flip the lily pad. I was wondering when that mechanic was going to come into play. So they forced me to see it when I jumped down that other room. Nice amount of money in this temple, at least. Even if uh, giant hands don't want me to collect all of it. No, get up. Dink, please. Use your limited upper body strength. All 
All right, small key. I think I heard something about there being like a ship dungeon in this game. I'm wondering when we're gonna get to that. I can go through the center door, and I can get the, the thing that we're going to need to, to the grappling hook equivalent of this game. An interesting dungeon aesthetically. We don't do a lot of uh, Eastern style dungeons in Zelda games. Zelda 2 dungeons didn't really have, like, any, like, style or aesthetic to them at all. I guess it's hard to argue Zelda 1 did, either. The most personality that Zelda 1 dungeons had was, like, the shape of their layout. Okay, I guess I'm just jumping down. It's another Stalfos. Sorry, it's a Super Stalfos. Stal Master? Stal Lord? I, I forget what the, the tough ones are called. Ow. I can't do anything when he's, like, got a cross like that. And when he's got his forearms out, I can only go one specific direction. I get the picture. And he'll fake me out. I need that. I need that heart. Alright. Interesting idea for a mini-boss. It's a Machamp skeleton. Also, I think I can only get two hits off before he gets mad. Oh, I could have asked Fi, you're right. Whoops. I'll bring this as a souvenir. This is my new friend. Never mind. Friends have hearts in them, and I need hearts. Uh, all right, now I go in here, and I get the thing that's going to let me, like, turn those. Sounds like it's called the whip. Grappling hook plus. I would ask why Link can't just like grab and turn this, but uh, I, I guess I need to be standing on this for the, the water thing to. Uh... But even so, though, I should have been able to like grab it and turn it and see that it was grabbable at least.
I guess. No, it stays on, so I didn't need to be standing on it. Why, why could Link just not, like, grab that? Surely a whip is not necessary for this mechanism at arm level. I don't know where we're going. We're just going up. Look for the key that lies beneath the earth. We, we digging again? Uh, okay. This is the, this is the boss door. Where does this go? Just... Out. Okay. Well, what's in here? Now, I wanted to go inside the, the gap that I wasn't supposed to go in. I'm gonna walk up close to these things, and Fi is gonna be like, Master, I suspect you can use your whip to grab onto these things. Nope, okay, she trusted me to figure it out. Wait, why do I gotta waggle? The crappling hook works so much better. I just aim and fire. Yeah, you're right, I forgot to list the percentage of me being able to use the whip. Nope, why did he swing back? Oh, because I was too low. Oh, I can also cut grass with it. It is a very versatile whip. This would have been an interesting weapon in Hyrule Warriors, except that I guess that uh, Sia already had the whip covered. Uh... Well, now what can we do? Why is there a bird up there? What are you doing, bird? I don't trust birds. Come here, bird. No. It's like the, uh, it's like the hookshot enemies in Hyrule Warriors. Can we get over there at all? Not obviously. Is there a way that we can get through here? This appears to be locked. Come on, whip it. Whip it good. There we go. It's so finicky with the button controls. No, whip. There we go.
I see a future shortcut that we will be unlocking once we go through this section. Sonic Adventure looking ass temple. Do the thing! Link! Finishing! I guess I have to, I have to like, Z-target for that. According to the wiki, the four-handed guy was a stall master. Which I believe their first appearance was Twilight Princess, right? That was the first stall masters. We got an indie. We got an indie through the bars. This is an extremely spiral looking room. Alright, we gotta try it in combat. Yeah. Say you like it. Who's your daddy? Better remember the safety word fast. Beautiful. Okay, it doesn't work on those ones. Slimes are immune to whip. That's a big one. Okay. Oh, bye. Something down there. I can play something here. Why do they stop having songs in these games? Playable songs. Were they worried that people were, like, forgetting the songs too much? That it was too complicated? again. I gotta draw the orange slice. The sacred orange slice. Because, like, they had... The last game they had songs that you had to memorize and replay was uh, Wind Waker. Twilight Princess. They had the Wolf Howl sections, but you didn't have to, like, remember any songs for regular gameplay use. That wasn't really a thing anymore. And then in this game, you just, uh... You just, just strum the heart back and forth is all you do. Alright, see you later, 13 man. That is such a better way to deal with those enemies than trying to sword fight them with button controls. Well, that didn't work. Like there would be something up there. Maybe not. 
Looks like a thing that they would hide a heart piece in this room. Something to do with that spinning pillar. And around again. No, I don't. There's vines, okay. <laughs> Grab the vines, Link. I don't like how much rope swinging there is in this game. The rope swinging is not a, a, a Zelrog approved feature. It's very inconsistent, in my opinion. Also, these are some dumbass plants. I'm not one to insult wildlife. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I had to flush the Giga Toilet. Wait, where's the water coming from? How come there's a continuous flush? Ah, whatever. Plumbing. What is a cistern, anyway? A tank for storing water. Especially one supplying taps or as part of a flushing toilet. Okay. The ancient toilet tank. <laughs> that is this dungeon. We're, we're literally in a sewer level now. Boy, we don't have those very often in Zelda games. Last one was like the, the tunnels under a uh, clock town in Majora's Mask. Can I do anything with the... the, the the whip for these guys. Are they whip vulnerable? No, they do not appear to be. Okay, that's cool. I'm still flying, though. That interrupted my flight. Back in the main room? No, not yet. I guess Twilight Princess had a sewer level. It had the uh, early part of the game where we were like under, under Hyrule Castle as Wolf Link. Also, first Zelda game with pickpocketing. I was not expecting that. We Sly Cooper now. We're doing all the platforming series. We're having like a Mario Odyssey section, we're having Spyro, we're having Sly Cooper. Next level we're gonna go into space and we're gonna start shooting rocket launchers at people, Ratchet and Clank style. Ow. I guess that's all that's here. I, yeah, this dude just, uh... He can just stay down here, living in his sewer. He can be the sewer king. I don't mind.
I'm gonna guess that I cannot whip underwater. I'm gonna guess it won't let me do that. Oh, is this the place? This is the place with the bird statue that I couldn't get through to before. I guess there are a number of Zelda games with sewer levels. I just that ha thought hadn't occurred to me because it doesn't seem like a series that would do it, do that very often, if ever. Surely this little guy is not enough to, to flip that over. I need to, uh, I need to breach onto that body of land. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah. I'm smart. Go horizontally. I just keep guessing until I get it right. I not going to do anything over there. Surely there's a way to get over there. Oh, just maybe not yet. I thought down here would be the exit. I guess this is just the way to the rest of the room. Here we have the uh, Platypus Tunnel in Spyro 2. Alright, what did this do? That did that. What did that do? Oh, that let me get to the other side of the of the room. I see. Th this is a complicated room. This is a room with lots of steps. I'm glad that didn't knock it off the water spout, or I'd have been screwed. Alright, back to the main room. This stupid bird is still flying around. Zelda games, just waiting for openings. Dark Souls, this is not. Uh, 
All right, now I can go down there and flip that switch, which I'm sure will do something. Go left, please. It's a strange combination, this game, because the difficulty seems like it was made for people who have played Zelda games their whole lives. The difficulty feels like it's trying to grow up with the existing Zelda fans, but the gimmickiness feels like it's trying to draw in casual gamers. It, it's kind of a conflict of interests, these two goals. been over there? It doesn't look like I have. Can I get over there? It doesn't look like I can. I have a shortcut back up here if I need it. That seemed like it lowered the central, like, room. So, surely that means something. I get in the center thing. Oh, it's right here, okay. This is way more involved than I expected. I, I guess having already revisited that other dungeon, I was expecting this one to be lighter than a full dungeon. No, this is like a full, full dungeon. This might be the meatiest dungeon we've been to so far. So there's definitely, there's more than four dungeons in this game, unless this is the last one, because this is the fourth dungeon. No, put away, please. Oh, what are these? They're zombie bokoblins? Fi, what do you got to say about this? Cursed Bokoblin. This horrifying Bokoblin reanimates after death, fears pure shiny items, and will startle at the sight of a sacred shield. Able to reanimate purely through its hatred of this world, and its attachment to outlandish underpants. I see. Okay. No. Shiny objects. Does the whip count? What kind of shiny objects does it fear? The whip didn't seem to do anything. I kind of assumed that was death water, but I had to be I had to be sure. Sometimes it's not obvious in Zelda games. Like the, 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 the curse smoke in Wind Waker. You're actually expected to walk through a lot of the time. What items do I have? I don't have a sacred shield, so that's not going to help me. Uh. Maybe I need to stun them and then get them? No? Even that, I thought surely that would be like sacred enough. Do I just need to like get him away from this thing long enough to do the whip? No, 
Oh, I can't reach the whip from here. No. Blowing them has not worked. This is not a situation I can blow myself out of. Oh, there's just a path over here. I'm just dumb and blind. I see. I thought that was the whole area I had access to. We're, we're down in, like, the cursed water part of the temple. We were in the cistern before, now we're in the proper... Th Welcome to the devil's toilet! This just... this seems totally not worth it. I'll take it because it's a health refill, but... They really made it seem like this was going to be something more important than it was. No, it's just a health refill. Draw a peach on the wall, get health. Gemstone shines deep within the eye. Strike it to shut down, shut the mouth, and damn the flow. A nice bomb restock. This is such a nice feature. It makes so much sense that you would be able to, like, store bomb flowers to use as bombs. Am I glad you don't have to be intricate with the drawing? It's already barely worth it. It would definitely not be worth it if it was, like, finicky with the drawing. Oh boy. Uh Can I get to that? Do I need to I looks like I would need to bomb this first. Am I hitting it? I think I'm hitting it. Do I need to make it shorter? I can't climb up like in Wind Waker. No, it doesn't go all the way to the top. Nowhere else. Oh, I see. Maybe. Do I go to the hand? It doesn't want me to do that, does it? This seems not right, but it also kind of looks like a path going up from that thumb. I'm going to get stranded over here. I just know it. Or there's not going to be any collision. Because they didn't think anyone would be dumb enough to try this. I, you don't swing nearly as high as you as you... It feels like you should in this game. No, there's no way they want me to go on that thumb. Uh. Hold on. Maybe there's a bomb flower. Oh, there is a bomb flower around here. I, I, I saw that. Where was the bomb flower? It was next to the, the, the shit waterfall. I gotta, uh. What is that? Oh, that's a skull. Now, can I fly a bomb through the shit waterfall? Is the question. I cannot. Can I fly at all through the shit waterfall? No, I cannot. Well, I don't think this is intended, but I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to run out of bug before I get anywhere close. 
they probably want me to shut down the mouth first. No? Am I just gonna make it? I just made it. Okay. Did I just sequence break? Well, what's in this mouth? I, I forget. I already forgot what it told me to do. It was like light up the eyes or something. Oh, I need to go into the eyes. Okay, it, it wasn't much of a sequence break. I could have done that, and I could have had the uh, the bomb. An easier route for the bomb. I still think I should be able to ride the thumb. That thumb looks very inviting. No, keep going, go up. I want to see what's at the top. Nothing. We got a, a rapidly spinning one over there. There's this weird. This is the this is the most like mechanical dungeon we've had since Great Bay. Other than the, like we had the the time thing before. Pull down. Can I not pull this? I guess I can't pull that for some reason. All right. Can I pull it later? He just he just tugs the whip off. Okay, another idea. No, I thought I could, like, whip it and then, like, run off, but that's not gonna work either. I Obviously, I need to pull it. I need to slow down this wheel or else it's gonna, like, fling me into the spikes. nearby? I don't see anything that I can obviously use. <sighs> Maybe I am just supposed to run. I don't recover stamina while on the treadmill. Come on. Come on, Dink. You're basically standing still. Surely you can get some stamina back. Well, a stamina potion would have also solved this problem. What is your assessment? It's a lever switch. Pearl, the, pull the curl tip. No shit, Fi. I can't. Do you have any useful advice? There is a uh, there is a maybe five percent chance that my advice will be useful.
need to change the direction of the rotating mechanism multiple times. Boy, I'd like to. Uh... Is there anything I missed down here? Am I just doing it from the wrong spot? Do I need to do it from this platform? Because that platform up there seems like it was really made to pull the, pull the lever from. I'm so confused. I can't, okay. When in doubt, scout. No, oh, it cannot go through bars. There's the lever that I seemingly obviously need to pull, however, I cannot. Do I need to pull it from the other side in order to pull it in that direction? So I need to I need to somehow get over there before I can do anything with this. Maybe I do just need to book it. Maybe I, just, I gave up too quickly. No. No, that's not it. Is there a spot on the on the on the other turbine with like lower vines that I can grab? I don't see a spot like that. items I have that would help me. I don't... I can't think of any. Now, it gets too fast around the outside. This, this is very much designed so that I can't do what I'm trying to do. I can't even, like, gain stamina while on the thing. thought I was being clever. It will not let me go under the gate in that way. Y'all got any ideas? reach it from here, and also that would be pulling it the wrong direction. Thing. Didn't want to do that. This is not possible. This is this is not the solution. I almost made that ledge jump, but that that can't be intended. There's nothing to, like, grab onto over here.
I'm looking it up. I'm stuck. I'm out of ideas. It's not like something I could, like, grab onto and, and like, climb across, but no, it is not. I can't, like, loose this from the wall. Uh, that wouldn't help me anyway. Is there anything on the ceiling I can bring down to, like, swing from? Is there anything on the ceiling at all? Nope, just, uh, just rocks. Great statue. I did that. They do expect you to use the whip for that lever. Well, it obviously, but I can't do it from the spot that I'm at. Vine covered rotating pillar, climb to the top. Da, 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 da. Whip the lever to the left. Now I did that, it didn't work. I tried it several times. I have attempted to whip this so many times. I have to flick it to the left. Okay. Every other time I have flicked the whip, I just had to flick it in, like, just any direction, and it would open. Because it could only go in one direction, whatever I was interacting with. This one, you have to specify a specific direction to move the lever. I thought the whip just pulled from wherever you were standing, so in order to pull it in that direction, I would have to be standing on this side of it. Once again, that would have been a terrific place for uh, Fi to be like, Hey, did you know? You can use the whip to interact with objects in multiple directions. Oh, my, my shield bro- Oh, I had the wooden shield out. Aw, oh, man. I totally forgot they burned. Oh, that was my super upgraded wooden shield, too. Can we get rid of, like, shield burning mechanics? It doesn't add to the game. It's not fun. It does not spark joy. I'm glad this water's clean. I wouldn't want to ride up the brown water. Purple water. Okay. Being chased by zombie bokoblins. Some Rhapsody of Fire shit. I said, yeah, sure, they're zombies, but they're still Bokoblins, so they can't be that threatening. Yep, yep. 
turn the stone giant to its original form. Descend below the earth again along the thread. Okay. Sure. And now I'm going to have to flick the whip up. That doesn't look like it should be possible from that angle. I demand realism at all times from my Zelda games. Oh, this is a pile of bones. I just realized that. I guess this is the equivalent of the Shadow Temple of the game, the ancient cistern. It's a good thing this chest and the key inside was not crushed to damage by the giant statue that's, that stood upon it. All right, blessed idol. And there's more of these guys. Excuse me, pardon me. Was that supposed to be a threatening situation? All right. And then I'll just uh, I'll just leisurely stroll up to the top again. Actually, I think the the boss was in the in the statue. Or at the top of the statue. I don't know, much like the well in Kikariko Village, having seen what's at the bottom of this cistern, I don't think I would want to drink this water. We are getting a lot more viewers from, uh, from YouTube than from Twitch. I wonder if that's been consistent lately. I haven't been, I don't usually pay attention to it. But, uh, hello, anyone who happens to be watching. Alright, now I gotta pull all the things. Once again, not sure why Link needs a whip to pull these, uh, arm level... Rotating switches. This was a weird temple. Interesting, though. Now comes my favorite boss. Oh, okay. So if this is the Shadow Temple equivalent, is the boss going to be super creepy? Yes, it is, because it's Girahim. You certainly are persistent. I'm terribly busy trying to find the clues that will help you revive the Demon King. Help me revive him. Incessant buzzing around my head like some irksome gadfly. When I'm this busy, it's, it's making me very disagreeable. Agitated, even. Hello. It's a funky-looking Buddha statue you got.
Is it full of the dookie water? Is that why it's purple? Uh, grab the thing, I assume. Yeah, I gotta, gotta grab its arms off of it. I see. I get the picture. Just to uh, avoid the pea hat blades. It's like the Octorok from Mario Sunshine, but way less violent because it's a robot. to wait for, like, all its arms to come off. I can just start attacking it. And suddenly, I can't dodge. This arena kind of reminds me of uh, the Komodo Brothers. A little bit. All right, we doing the style master thing now? Uh, what's that? Do I want that? Can I whip the sword? I don't understand what these glowing things are. Oh, okay, good. I can I can pick them up, I suppose. This isn't a mechanic we see often. Look at how big it is. It's like picking up the weapons in Wind Waker. Somehow I got all three with that. Come on, move Link. Uh... Hmm... No? Is there anything else I can pick up besides swords? 
Now it's just six swords. Okay. Hey, I could really use that heart if you want to, like, step away a little bit. Thank you. Oh, he's got, like, lasers. No, he's got these things, and I can't defeat them! Oh, no, the, these ones go down. These ones are fine. Need hearts. Ah, it's, it's so much reach. Need more hearts. I'm gonna bring down a load-bearing pillar. Okay, like, now what? Oh, the rubble can hit me. I can't, like, damage its knees. Maybe I gotta swing one of the swords horizontally? Can I do that? I can't. Okay, that's what we're doing. Unfortunately, it can regrow its knees. Okay, so I figured out the boss. The question is, did I do it in time to survive? I'm now down to three hearts. But I gotta get close enough for it to use its attack. And not just, like, summon these guys. But it has such range. There we go. That must be really inconvenient to have three arms all on one side. Alright, there we go. Oh, it doesn't even need to be stunned for me to do that. Okay, run away, Link. Run away. There's a character in one in uh, Hunter Hunter that had one of these like multi-armed Buddha powers. I forget what they're called. It's not Buddha. It's a, it's Hindi. I make fun of this this Link's uh, upper body strength, and here he is lugging this thing around. All right, come on, swing your swords. This is uh. This is interesting, but it's another one of those, uh, wait-for-obvious-opening bosses. 
Which is pretty much all Zelda bosses when you get down to it. Oh, do I even have to remove all of his arms? Maybe I can just, like, cut his legs off as soon as I can get close. I can. Man. I'm sure this robot cost a lot of money. This was a priceless ancient artifact. Magic like this no longer exists. I just destroyed it. It was in my way, so I blew it up. Laura Croft would be appalled at Link. Does she make any effort to, like, uh, preserve the places that she visits? Like, she doesn't run around her levels, like, destroying shit all the time, does she? I've never played a Tomb Raider game. I feel like as an archaeologist... She is an archaeologist, right? She, she kind of has, like, a character obligation not to do things like that. Anyway. I'm taking this with me. That's, Nathan Drake can get away with it. He's, I don't think he's an archaeologist. He's a treasure hunter. Maybe, maybe maybe Laura Croft is one of those two. Indy. Indy is an archaeologist. And Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is an archaeologist. <laughs> Alright, well that took way longer than anticipated. I'm gonna guess the ship is probably in the desert area, because that would make at least slightly more sense than it being in the volcano area. Okay, Phi just uh, hanging out in the fire. Is our sword stronger now? Do we get, do we get an attack increase? It's long, not only sharper, it's also longer. Twice as much damage. Alright, that's nice. That's, that's a pretty nice power upgrade. this the sacred flame has purified your blade enhancing and evolving it with your sword now enhanced you are ready to learn a new melody we should return to the isle of songs okay we got to go back there after every one of these I guess I kind of figured that was the case. Hello? Are you just, uh, waiting out here that whole time? You know, it's really shitty. Have you looked inside the cistern? There's, like, zombies at the bottom. I, I don't know what you're purifying out of the water, but it's having a very negative effect at, at the very bottom down there. I must train myself further. Devote yourself wholly to this task. Yeah, see you later. 
weird Vaporeon dragon. All right, well that's one of the uh, one of the super temples done. I'm under the assumption I got at least two more of those to go. And then probably one big final dungeon. My guess is now seven dungeons for this game. Still short of 600. Uh, 500 is the sacred shield. I guess I could buy could buy that. There's 500 for the sacred shield, and the other thing that I was thinking of buying was the. Uh... The other thing was the final pouch upgrade, which I don't know. Do we know the price of? Beetle, you've dropped this in a most inconvenient place. There we go. 1,200 rupees. I don't, so our wallet isn't that big yet. Whoops! What is our maximum rupee capacity? Medium wallet. Okay, we, we do have enough for that. That That's a big price tag. Well, we're not going to get that anytime soon. We'll at least get the Sacred Shield, which, from the sound of it, should be the only shield that we'll need. power within the shield allows it to repair itself over time. Okay, so I just, I, if I use it sparingly, then it should always be at, like, uh, it should always be at high shield health. Upgrade my sacred shield. I need two bird. Do I really not have any bird feathers? What about the other stuff? Can I upgrade my sling? I can't upgrade my slingshot. I can't upgrade hornet larva, is what I'm missing for a better beetle. And I don't have any monster claws for the other things. Alright, well, I guess I'll get the scatter shot. Might as well. Okay. <laughs> well, now that I have a better slingshot, maybe I'll actually use it. For the, okay, I have everything except for a... I need bird feathers. Which, if I remember correctly, I can get from just, like, netting birds, I thought. Any birds around here? No, the little birds are only on the surface. For some reason, they just... they choose not to fly up this high. I guess they'd probably get eaten by the big birds, wouldn't they? Hey, Fledge. 
Thanks again for that stamina potion. Since you gave it to me, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. Okay. Great. I thought maybe you'd have a new quest for me. I guess not. Well, which way is the... I guess I can't see what way. Uh... Are these now available? That's... Th this is where the chest I can't open is, I think. Where am I? There's a chest out there. There is. How do I get there? I could fly there, in theory. I'll just do that. That sounds easy. Yeah, right here. This is where I'll land. No! No, I wanted to land on the island! Put me up there! Maybe I can run through the cave and get there. Oh, there's stuff in this cave. Probably just five rupees, twenty rupees, okay. Are there any other stuff in this cave? There's a little, a couple things. I didn't realize this was like a whole complex. I thought it was just like a little path. Oh, this is going down. I needed it to go up. I just, I just wanted to get the treasure chest. I have a bird that can fly. It should have been no problem to get that treasure chest. It should have taken three seconds. Why can't anything for Dink ever be easy? This goes like under the island. I thought I thought this was going over. No, and I can't even do anything from down here. Just take me to the sky. No. Oh, good. Here's a departure point. How many? Oh, no. This isn't where the guy's house is. This is where my bird was. Eh, forget it. I'm just gonna go to the place and do the thing. Where is the place? There it is. I guess that's what those things look like without, uh, shrubs on their head.
You'd think it would have run out of rain in here. It's just like its own little ecosystem that's constantly cycling around again. I'm not going to have to do the bridge puzzle a second time, am I? No, I don't. That's good. Just got to go in the hole and I got to listen to Fi sing her little song again. I appreciate the attempt, but you, you kind of can't make a annoying, robotic, useless assistant, like, feel human just by having her sing and dance a little bit. This is a weird combination of these two extremes of character. Maximum expression and zero expression. Yes. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. Two sacred flames remain. Should you desire to possess them, you must obtain the other sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Harness the power of these gifts, and let there be no doubt you shall find yourself standing before the majesty of the sacred flames. Now I give you another melody. It will serve as the key to unlocking your next trial, which awaits you within the shifting sands of Lanayru Desert. Not to be creepy, but, uh, what do you think Fi, like, feels like? Is she just, like, a ghost? If you just, like, if you, like, poked her in the arm, would you, you just go, like, go through her? I, I, I don't know, I, I don't picture, a, like, a spirit, ghostly sword spirit being, like, fleshy. We just learned Nehru's wisdom. That's Nehru's wisdom. It's shower thoughts. Hey, what do you think sword spirits feel like? Alright, Lanayru Desert. We gotta douse again. Dousing, dousing, dousing. Gotta love dousing. It is very warm today. It's warmer than it's been the rest of this week. What is it? 83 outside right now. It's a good thing Link chooses to enter the dive animation when jumping off this specific piece of land. If he arbitrarily chose not to, like he does in Skyloft, we would never be able to leave here. I kind of want to see if we can get, like, two bird feathers. I could have sworn we had, we had bird feathers. We got them, like, earlier in the game. We must have used them on a different upgrade. But uh, it'd be nice to have a, a better sacred shield if it's, like, easily gettable. I'm gonna swing in at, uh... Swing in at Lanayru. Wait, did she say we're going to the desert? I guess I just assumed we would be going in the same order that we first did. Maybe we're not. <laughs> so 
So that's probably what that, uh, that's probably what that superheated area is in the volcano was. That's gonna be the next, like, the next dungeon area. I wonder what Granny Dimidome has been up to. I don't think I'm very good at capturing birds. It's probably why I haven't gotten any feathers since the first time. Uh, where is the temple? Can I respawn birds? Oh, hello, Goron friend. What are, what have you been up to? You'd probably not want to know that I've seen blessed butterflies flying around here lately. Oh, okay. Sure. Is this, uh... Is this just one of those health walls? Because that's not useful to me. This, this is just one of the heart walls. Is this the one that I was supposed to get first? Was this the tutorial that I just missed? Alright, I'm gonna draw my orange slice. I guess it's not an orange slice. Orange slices don't have the, the cutout in the middle. I'm gonna draw the Captain Falcon logo. Yep, I did it. There, I showed you. Are you impressed? Mm. Alright. Wait, I heard birds. Oh, that's just soundscape? There they are. Wait, no! Oh, they fly away as soon as I swing. Even if I'm far away? I really just want two bird feathers. I'm gonna add some birds. And Link is just up here parkouring up doors. Why didn't that work? Man! Are those the wrong types of birds? Can it only be the blue ones? I came here because this was like the most memorable place I remember there always being birds. I know I got bird feathers before. I was gonna say, I don't need the bigger net, do I?
I got one. All right. Is that really the first one? No, I've got... What are the blue ones? Are the blue bird, blue bird feathers special? Well, I've confirmed that it's possible, so I just need to do that one more time. I think you can Z-target them. I can. I guess I didn't figure that would help. Because I'm still just kind of waggling the net whether I'm Z-targeting or not. I guess I don't want the blue ones if the blue ones are their own separate item. Okay. I got another one. I think. How can I tell? Where can I see my items? Can I not? I don't know if I can see my items, but it sounded like I got it because it made the noise. Now, where's the bird statue? Oh, what? It came back. There's more. These ones respawn quickly. Okay, maybe not that quickly. Alright, better sacred shield. And then... Pretty sure she said the desert. I'll ask Fi again. Yeah. And her being totally useless will say, Go to the place I told you to go. And I'll be like, Thanks, Fi. Let me try one more time. I can't go up, like, up here, can I? I really just want to jump down onto that island. No, it will not. It's really not, it's not going to make this easy for me. I think I must need, like, the, the hook shot to get up onto those vines or something. Oh, however, now that I can swim... What's down here? Oh, it's just a tunnel. Maybe. No, it's, it's something special. It's a goddess chest, and also a non-goddess chest. Alright, Silver Rupee. And a piece of heart. And hay! Really sturdy hay. Alright, well that didn't do anything. Can I not leave? Thought for sure that door would be, like, openable from in, in here. Guess not. I wonder what the other villagers think. Seeing Dink breach the water like a, like a fish. Just in the middle of the day, in the middle of the river. Like, wow, how long has he been able to do that? Alright, better shield. Hey! Hey! Oh, I have four bird feathers. I got one more even than I thought I did. Okay. <laughs> Did 
Divine Shield. Now, what's the higher upgrade, then? A more bird feathers, more dusk relics, and some monster horns. Well, I have all the materials, I just need more of them. So that could be doable in the not-so-distant future. Since I no longer need the metal shield, I might as well sell it. Oh, welcome! You seem different. I, I don't think I do. Maybe you're mistaken. It's not like, oh hey, that guy's back, I'm so happy, or anything like that. You baka. Beatrice, you're on an island with, like, a total of three women under the age of 30. You are one of the most eligible bachelorettes here. You, you got nothing to worry. You, you got your pick of the litter, Beatrice. That's kind of sad when you think about it. it. As far as, like, the school-age people go, there's, like, how many dudes are There's, like, six dudes and two girls. With everyone stuck on this island, it, like, four of those dudes are just going to be forever alone. That's, I, maybe, maybe some of them are gay or something. You know what? I shipped the bug guy with Groose. I hope they're very happy together. I wish them all the best. Uh. Alright, might as well have two bottles now that I'm down to one shield. Alright, see you later, Beatrice. What's this? This treasure chest-like object is a relic of ancient times. Oh, was this the goddess chest tutorial? I was supposed to come here a long time ago. Search for goddess cubes in the lands below and send them into the air. It's the only way to open these chests. Yeah, no, that rupees from a chest actually aren't terrible, because rupees thus far are actually useful in this game. And boy, is that refreshing for a Zelda game, because they sure haven't been before now. The most use they got in Twilight Princess was the magic armor, which would, uh, you'd save up like 800 rupees for it, and then you would, uh, it would consume rupees by wearing it. But even then, it was like, Huge rupee consumption. I guess it wasn't a problem. It, it was something. It was something to spend rupees on when you were out of things to spend rupees on. This game has a ton of, like, high-value rupee purchases. I'm, I'm always saving for something. So, I, I appreciate that. Uh... I forgot to talk to Fi. Oh, go up, bird. Yeah, I landed. I was close enough to land. Fi, what are we doing? Sacred Flames. It recommend you head for the trial in Laneru Desert. Oh, Laneru's the desert. What was the... The furore... Was Furore the Woods? I, I, I always forget. Whatever. Who cares? Alright, so we are going to the desert before we go back to the volcano. They switched up the order the second time around.
I want to see a mod of this where a Link flies on a south bird. And no matter which direction you fly, its head is always facing south. Okay, where are we going? There's the mine, desert entrance. If I remember correctly, North Desert gives us the most freedom of movement, so I guess we should probably go there. We've arrived at the Nehru Desert. You can use your dousing ability to locate the entrance to the trial you must pass to open the way to the sacred... Oh, that's right. we got to do the... The... Collect the tears thing. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of here. Also, there are mo now moblins here as well. All right, dousing. Where are we going? Going down here. Uh, how do we do this again? I got I got to do my sword thing. Oh, I killed the butterfly. Oh no! I didn't know I could do that. I hope that bug guy wants a goddess butterfly soon, because I'm I'm loaded on them. Uh oh, I gotta play the song, that's right. Alright, what does this one sound like? I don't think we heard it proper yet. Am I doing something wrong? It doesn't want to progress. Do you think Fi is frustrated with Dink's lack of musical skills? It doesn't help that Phi looks, like, so incredibly uncanny while she's singing. So soulless, her mouth not matching the lyrics of the song. Phi should be the uh, Nintendo equivalent of Cortana and Alexa. Nintendo Phi. I can see it now. The digital assistant that will be on every, every Switch 2. You go, hey Siri, and Siri just offers you 12 totally arbitrary, useless pieces of information that have nothing to do with the question you asked or what you needed from her. Yes, hello, you can't help me. Your business is all in my head. There is no spirit trial, Dink. There is no sword spirit. There are no giant armored men chasing you. You just did some desert mushrooms. And you went on a bad trip, Dink.
That's like the Mega Mind guy, isn't it? I never saw Mega Mind. I just know the uh, quote unquote villain, the antagonist of the movie, became like a big meme in his own right. And he's like now the most well known part of the movie. How do I get over there? Also, there are ghosts over there. Okay, I can go over from here. Oh, this is gonna suck. Dealing with these ghosts. I also, like, I do ha kind of have to avoid them, though, because there's this guardian dude literally right there. Ninety-second pause. Run, Dink. There we go. Definitely one of DreamWorks' bests. Have I seen any 3D DreamWorks movies besides the Shrek ones? I think I've seen Shrek one, two, and probably three at some point in my life. What other 3D DreamWorks movies were there? I don't think I have. I think I've only seen... I've, I've seen most or all of the 2D DreamWorks movies. And then 3D is uh, just, just Shrek. Ma I, I have seen Madagascar. Okay, that's one. Not seen any of the Kung Fu Pandas. Uh. Okay, the rest are all over there. That's a dusk thing, I need those. Got a little out of my way to collect it. That's okay. Get up the ledge, Dink. Okay, there we go. We're good. I think they're about to unfreeze soon. Oh, and there's a guardian right here in this cage. I need to get up a ledge. There we go. Here's one. All right. Uh, can I get over there? I gotta push a thing. Alright, that's fine. I got time. <laughs> I like DreamWorks 2D movies. They didn't quite have, like, the, uh, the, the sassiness that 3D DreamWorks have kind of come to be known for. Was well, Shark Tale DreamWorks, because I saw that. Uh, how am I getting that tree? How am I going to get up there, actually? Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. I 
Hello, Mr. Guardian fella. You seem to be lacking a lower body. I'm sorry, that sounds unfortunate. No, get up, Link! Okay, now how am I gonna get this? Just roll? Okay, just roll. We're good. That was an inconvenient spot for one of these things to be. There's one still over there in, like, the center. How do I get up there? Can I not get up on- I must be able to get up on this wall somehow. Oh, I need the, uh, I need to push carts again. Having me do puzzles in the spirit realm, and there's water here. Of course there's water here. Oh no, he's right here. I need you to make some space. Mr. Guardians, you're invading my bubble right now. I missed it. All right, over here, please. Remember when every movie got a tie-in video game? Yeah, they did used to do that. They don't really do that anymore. I remember my brother used to play the uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong game a lot. I think it was on, like, a PS2. He played that, and he played Turok Evolution. Now, how do we get to the top center? It looks like we just need to get to that ramp over there of stairs. Every DreamWorks movie got one. Got one. <clears throat> yeah, I never played a DreamWorks movie game. Or any of them liked. Did Disney had a few good tie-in games. I don't know if DreamWorks did. I know it was like, uh, Shrek Super Slam, or whatever. Started out with, like... It started out with an ironic fan base, right? It wasn't people swearing up and down that it was, like, the be the best video game ever. Like, the pony fighting game, I know that one wasn't just fan base. That was, people actually saw that it was a very well-made passion project of a game. Before it got shut down. Okay, I am going the opposite direction that I need to go. There were some annoying ones placed around, but that wasn't too bad. Actually pretty good. They were made by Toys for Bob. Interesting. Alright, I got the yellow dragon fruit. Oh, the claw shots. Wait, did we get an item from the previous one? I, I, did I just forget? What did we get? I that was that where we got like the wind bell? No, the wind bellows were here in the desert. If we got an item for the previous, it was the water scale. That was the item. Okay. So we got the water dragon scale the first time, and we got the claw shots this time, which we already get in a pair. 
You now have the power to proceed to the sacred flame that will be entrusted to your sword and your strong spirit. Claw shots are one of the goddess's sacred gifts. Alright, well that opens a lot of stuff up in terms of mobility. Claw shot slash hook shot is always like a really big get in a Zelda game. I would like to try to get this temple done as well, but boy, that last temple took a lot of time. Isn't Red Riding Hood like top of the tier list in Shrek Super Slam? Like she's she's the broken character. Figure out how to access the remote power nodes. Yes. I did that. Quite, quite a while ago. You robots are a little slow on the uptake. Uh... So I'm assuming... This is where I want to go. Hello, Moblin. You're in my way. You need to move. I got a new sword and a shield and everything. Yeah, I can just kind of cut at it until it dies. Uh. Wait, no, th this isn't the temple. This is one of the three power things that I already did. Uh. Okay, that's, that's the place I gotta go. I remember, because we found it before, but we couldn't go there because we didn't have the... The claw shots. Get out of here. Stupid bird. Double damage. Drop something! I'm glad they realized how cool that the uh, double hook shots were, double claw shots, and they decided to keep those. That was a nice Zelda edition, the uh, double claw shots in Twilight Princess. I'm glad they hurt a lot less than the Moblins in Wind Waker. These ones are a lot tougher, but they don't hit nearly as hard. There were a lot of enemies, compared to this game, there were a lot of enemies in Wind Waker that could just end you. Shortcut, now that... I, why do they even include this? Just so you can climb this ledge without the use of the claw shot? Like, the claw shot is already a shortcut up here. Now, is this Link limited by his stamina, I wonder? Also, have I gone over there? I assume I have. good shield. This sacred shield. 
Sorry, Divine Shield. Yeah, I've been over here. I was gonna say, is this Link limited? Is his claw shotting limited by his stamina, I wonder? La Nehru Caves. Oh, hello, Mr. Gobon. Are you going to be joining me on this adventure? I like you more than I like the moles. I don't think I trust those moles. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is a different Goron. Wow, that's, that's embarrassing. I'm researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. First glance, it, see, it would seem there's nothing in this area, but I know there's something here. I'll just keep on looking. Dink, not the easiest name to say, is it? I get the feeling this guy might be a little slow. How about you, Dink? Why are you here? You were looking for a sacred flame. That sounds like something I have heard of before, but maybe not. Sweet Goro! I remember now. I read something about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Laneru Sand Sea. Okay. I am down for going straight through here. Straight through sounds like a plan. What a helpful guy. He just he just gave me a small key. That's great. I like this. I like Golo. Oh, sorry. My bad. I think I spooked him. Maybe I can help him. I don't think that was helpful. I don't think he liked... Well, no, hold on. That was, in fact, helpful. If he'd move, I could go through there. He's not gonna move, though. He's not gonna let me in. They're really gonna- they're making me spend three bombs on these pots. What could possibly be in these pots? Now I have to know. It's just 11 rupees. Well, that was definitely worth it. Head is Lanayru Mine. It is there that I will solve the mystery of the time shift stones. Okay. So from here we can get to the desert and we can get to the mines. Well, the mine. Oh, this is the. P we've have we've been here before, I think. At least I remember seeing this uh, this passage that we couldn't do because we didn't have the uh, the claw shot. We found this canyon once before. Nice place to reload on bombs. Get some free rupees or materials. It's gonna be ore. No, it's a monster horn. All right. I seem to remember needing one of those. Some vocal blends carry monster horns on their waist. Oh, the whip can be used to take items just like the grappling hook could. That's good to know. That's gonna make getting drop items a lot easier. I think he's easily spooked. Go low. 
All right, fair warning, Golo. There's gonna be one more coming. It's criminal that Darunia couldn't, like, uh, roll up in Hyrule Warriors. And him being the only playable Goron. I get that he was, like, the, the, the slow, hard-hitting archetype with the hammer. But in addition to that, like, his attack should have been slow, but he should have been, like, the fastest-moving character in the game because he's a Goron. I like that contrast. Gorons being like very slow fighters, but very fast movers. Alright, what is your report? This is Lanayru Sansi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. Don't think that's how it works. That doesn't sound like a thing that just happens. This place functioned as a port linking the land to the sea. Okay, we're, we're coming up to the ship. The ship is soon. We're gonna have to go into the, into the mines again, aren't we? I forgot, we're gonna have to, like, meet a new person. The person's gonna say, hey, go back into this temple you've done already and get something new. If they're gonna repeat the pattern, we're gonna have to go back into the mines again before we can go into the ship. Spider Link, Spider Link. I hope this mechanic isn't Breath of the Wild in some form. Oh boy. I'm definitely getting flashbacks to that Ratchet and Clank desert now. You kind of just have to mash swinging in order to keep the, the slimes from, like, regrouping into their bigger size. But at the same time, you can't do that against the electric ones because they'll just shock you half the time. I don't understand what they want me to do against that enemy. Just get some ants. Why not? What are we doing? We got shipping containers? Okay. Truly an ancient port. Now here's the other question. That's not even a question. We're definitely going to use time stones to turn this back into a, uh, like, watery area. We're going to go back and forth between desert and actual ocean. Oh, that's weird. The Gerudo Ocean? Are we sure this is the- are we sure we, this is the ancient past and not the future of the Wind Waker timeline? Why do these things suck to fight so much? I don't even get anything for them. I guess I should be using my, uh, I should be using my whip to, like, get goo off of them. I don't know how much, uh, slime goo I need at this point. Alright, where am I going? Well, here's, here's the bird statue. I guess I'm going out to, uh, quote-unquote C. Oh, 
Or I'm supposed to be dousing one or the other. Here we go. Here's the weird part. It has to... I'm sorry, it takes time for the, uh... Why is it, why is it d a delayed action that the time stone has to fill it with water? Whatever. LD301N. Skipper! Who are you? Some human? Now, it doesn't need to talk like a pirate. I am the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Fweep. Nehru's flame? Well, I know what Nehru's flame is. Why did I ask that? It's the day of the storm. We're gonna have to find his robot crew. They were attacked by Terminian Gerudo pirates. Drifted onto the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. Bzz. Look, look at its little robot mustache. Why does it have a robot mustache? Why does it have one googly eye? Bet my hat they turned the ship invisible! Uh, they can do that? The ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. Okay. We got a cannon? Okay, so the time crystal is on the boat. So we're going to be piloting the boat around the desert, turning it to sea within the vicinity of our person. This is such a... Th this is like something Doraemon would do. This, this is just... It's just that weird. Jack would, Jack would love this. Uh, it was like one of the one of the Drymon movies. The the kid like wants to be a pirate, so he gets a gadget that makes everything around him piratey. Like he ju he just puts on glasses, and then that's that's reality. As long as he's wearing the glasses, it becomes pirate world. I like that movie. That was the best Drymon movie. I want to watch it with the guys at some point. Had time pirates. My circuits spark to life in the salt air. Hmm. Feels good to talk to the take to the seas again after so long. Let's see if I can remember how to navigate. I've never done robot pirate except for the the Dragon Ball robot pirate. I guess that was a pirate robot because it was a robot that was built by pirates, as opposed to this, a robot which chooses to be a pirate. A a robot pirate versus a pirate robot. Figure that out. Alright. Let's go sail in the desert. How do we fire the cannon? Okay. ZR is our cannon fire button. See, this is very strange, but it ties into the rest of the world in a believable way. It's not it's not it's not like random or just totally strange for the sake of it. I feel like Sega does that a lot. They just kind of have a mishmash of everything thrown together in one game, so there's not really anything to grasp onto, there's no theme to follow. I'm kind of worried that the uh, the new Mario game will be that. But we'll see. My shack is at the very top. Mm. The seat where oh, it's Wind Waker again. We gotta collect sea charts. Can't wander very far from the boat, so I'll just stay here. Can we like bring the boat with us? Let let's haul it onto the pier and just drag it along. It'll take a while, but boy. 
If it makes the area not desert, that would be wonderful. I'm totally down with, like, just an ocean segment. Zelda never does that. There was Great Bay. That was ocean-themed, but, uh, like, the temple itself was all, uh... The temple itself was all, like, mechanics and everything. Can I deflect this electricity? No, I cannot. What about a scatter shot? No, it's still not strong enough to actually do anything to him. Like, it'd be kind of nice if we went to, uh, the, the west part of Termina, and it just kind we just kind of got a piratey chapter. We did briefly, we got the Grudo pirates, but that was, you know, just self-contained within their fortress. I guess it was like, it was the, a lot of, uh, Terminians, of Termina's water area was just kind of Zora's domain again. It was like one-third Zora's domain, one-third pirates, and one-third, uh... One-third weird water factory place. I guess variety is nice. You know what? Majora was a poor example. I guess it would, like, violate the, the medieval fantasy theme too much if it was, like, in Twilight Princess. You went to some far-off corner of the map and suddenly everything was pirates. This was a thing in Twilight Princess. I see we're doing this again. These, uh, floating... I guess they're pea hats. I don't know what else they could be. Hello. Oh, you got a you got an iron shield. Can I do anything to that? I guess I can try the old standby. Here you go, friend. Now come back. Well, that didn't work. All right. How about this? That didn't work either. Hmm. I need to wait for an attack? I just go around him. I'll do that. I'll put off learning how to fight this enemy. I'm sure it won't be important. Like they made the bridge so thin, they really didn't want me doing that. Well, now that he's facing this way... He still didn't lose his shield from that. Also, I don't think he knows what hit him. Uh... So this zip line goes back down. How do I get up from here? More hook shotting. Sorry, claw shotting.
there any bombs around here I can use? There are not. Unfortunate. Having remote missiles was very convenient. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, no, I don't, I, I gotta use the whip for these things. Oh, uh, this is, I, I don't like having to use the whip. It's a bit counterintuitive because I can't just, like, use the item by pressing the button like I can in, uh, in other Zelda games. I have to first press the button to get it out, and then press the button to actually use it. Oh, I have to charge the... I have to charge the... The scatter shot. No, put away. Get the claw shot out. Once again, fighting the controls. All right. Also, once again, starved on hearts. What was that? There was a flower there. Did I just blind that? I guess I must have. Uh, hmm. What are we gonna do about that? Can I bug you? Can I beetle the flower? Yeah, I can cut it off at the, at the stem. Is there one over here that I gotta... No, there's not one over there. There are two birds I gotta fight once I'm up there. This Link faces some treacherous environments. He doesn't have an easy time of it compared to some other Links. Two hearts, where am I going now? Over there. It's like an FPS item wheel. Alright, another monster horn. That's good, I need those. up here? Oh, it's these things. I gotta, like, I gotta... There we go. I'm glad these things take such convenient flight paths. Or this area would be impassable for Link. Oh, there's a door, but what's up here? I've gotten those before. They're the uh, cicadas. Entering some dude's house. Thousands, millions of years. Past the point anyone has been inside. This would be traumatic. This would be like Aang going to the air temple. There's 
my blower. There's my blower. Where's the sand going? We're inside a building. Well, I'm assuming this is his crew, which is kind of sad, but... Fortunately, we can revive them with the power of weird, vague time travel. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without per- It's- it's an ancient robot! This dude's been dead for thousands of years! Technically. Well, as dead as robots get, I guess. Alright, I got the ancient sea chart. This old map details the area as it was long ago. These paintings have really held up over the... countless eons they've been sitting here. You'd think they'd be long decayed by now. This image would indicate the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Thank you. Man, if I... If I didn't have you to tell me what the emotions expressed in the photographs were, I would never tell. You know, we humans are very bad at telling emotions compared to you robots. Yeah, she's a robot. Don't tell me otherwise. Alright, where's the, where's the zip line? I'm gonna go zipping down. Uh... Oops! I didn't mean to do that! And <laughs> now I'm back here. Oh. Uh... Once again, not knowing how to deal with the shield moblin, so... What if I blow him? Will that work? No, he does not respond to blowing. What else have we got? I could beetle his backside. What if I grab it? No, I can't grab his shield. I already tried the... I already tried the claw shot. That didn't do anything. Hmm. Alright, second verse, same as the first, I guess. I don't know what else to do except try to go around him. Hold on. Maybe for once, Phi will be able to tell- Yes, I know my hearts have decreased. You're gonna let me douse for hearts? No, I need you to tell me about this enemy, Metal Shield Moblin. Only a few moblins are capable of carrying a large, heavy shield of iron like this one. Okay, I'm supposed to climb over it? Is that the tactic? Alright, here goes. I guess that's what you do. I would have never thought of that. I would have thought, get close and he just, like, stabs you. I'm glad the zip lines are still working after thousands and thousands of years. There's a lot of convenient things still intact. Alright, I got your sea chart. Alright, let's go look for your ship.
Is it in the other ring? Oh no, there's more. There's more desert slash ocean. Off to the shipyard. We gonna meet Frankie? I know a th I know a thing or two about pirate robots. Oh, pirate cyborgs. Well, the heart noise is significantly less abrasive than it has been in past Zelda games, but uh, we still have to hear it the entire time that we were at low health. Guess we better just get used to it. Could be worse. Could be Tingle's laugh. Very rocky seas. Huh. All right, seaport. Sorry, ship shipyard. Is this going to be its own dungeon? Are we going to have like a minecart level? Are we going to go Donkey Kong? I actually like minecart levels, so I kind of hope so. What is this mushroom architecture? Is this is Mushroom Kingdom Ruins? Find the shipyard here as well as the town where the workers lived. That building is the construction bay. That's where they're going to put down Mary. Each location on the island is linked to the others via a minecart track. Might be able to get to the back door of the construction bay if you can get around to the other side of it using a minecart. All right. We roller coaster in. This this robot pirate captain is having us do a lot of work while he just kind of waits by the ship. I don't I don't feel like this is an equal partnership. Come to think of it, we're even piloting the boat. No, you're fine. I don't need well I should, I, I probably should at least get the, you know what? I'm not going to fight them, but I will try to rob them. Because I need their tails. I'm going to rip their tails off and then leave. No. No, I can't do that. Alright, I can only get their tails once they are uh, detached from the rest of their bodies. Oh, hello. Hello. Gore train. Sorry, Gore tram. Station here was used by folks heading into the old mines. People still ride the mine carts all over the place. Probably supposed to tell you there's some safety information about using the carts posted on the wall over there. Cart riding can be, uh, dangerous. Nah. Lean your bot. Ah, uh, okay. We got, we got motion controls. We got jump. We, uh, it doesn't sound too much motion controls. Okay, I can just lean with the left stick. R to jump. What kind of minecart track is this? This is clearly not a mine. This was previously an ocean, and now it's a desert of sand. That did. Minecarts are underground. That's the point, because they're minecarts. Slow down a little bit. 
Link making noises like he's about to throw up. This is like the this is like the the wire mini game. The 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 tightrope walking. Just faster. Yeah, this is this isn't a fun minecart level. I, I usually like minecart levels because they're usually about like jumping and avoiding obstacles. This isn't that. This is just this is a balance game. This is just the tightrope walking again. Hello. Goodbye. Y'all got any hearts? No? Uh, there's another robot here. Are we gonna like restore this entire area to the to the past? There must be a big time stone here. You know, I was just making jokes about Ratchet and Clank earlier. This is a very Ratchet and Clank looking setting. Just these little mechanical rooms separated by uh like rail sections. This is super Ratchet and Clank. It's just Zelda doing all of the all of the platforming motifs. We're gonna get Jack and Daxter decks. We're gonna go to like a big city with car with flying cars everywhere. And the game's gonna turn into Grand Theft Auto. I failed the jump button. Uh what is the jump button? R, right, right bumper. I assume that's the only other button on the screen. Do jitterbug. Jitterbug. Except the R button's never lit. So I have, like, a very short amount of time to react if that is, in fact, the jump button. Nope, I pressed it, didn't do anything. It never lit up. How am I supposed to jump, then? I'm running... Okay, I'm not losing hearts from this. Small favors. Uh, balance, slow down. When approaching the end of a set of tracks, press left stick to jump. Well, that doesn't appear anywhere. Every time there's, like, an unlisted command, I just- I have to assume it's left stick now, I suppose. That felt safe. I also like the, uh... I also like the obvious misconception that minecarts are powered. They aren't. I mean, real-life minecarts. These are ancient robot mining facility minecarts, I guess, but... I guess they're still powered after all this time. I'm slowing down a lot because I don't know what is too fast going around corners.
No, 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 no. Too fast, too fast. Failed to jump. Didn't seem to matter. Are we done? Oh, I also I missed another jump. Also, uh, only one jump mattered. All but one jump was decorative. Hearts. Give me hearts. Please. Alright, we've arrived at the construction bay. What are we going to do in the construction bay? The structure is filled with sand. Recommend looking in the sand for a clue that may direct you to the location of the ship. Alright, we're going digging again. I bet we're going to dig up a time stone that's going to make this whole area, like, wet again. Oh, hello. Oh, we got we got a, a repeat boss. It would, they did the thing where where a boss became a mini boss later in the game. And I don't have any hearts. Nope. Get out. Escape. Dead. And thus, Dink's adventure ended. You know what? I'm gonna kill these little guys first. Get on the flat surface, please. Stabbing always hits. Stabbing's usually good. I'm a stabby guy. Stabbing does not always hit. Well, maybe some of us wouldn't be reduced to mini bosses if not for a big, meaty claws. All right, come on. I know you're down there. You just you're doing the wait for an opening thing. It's not going to help you. It's just going to make this take longer. I, I guess it's not waiting. I guess I have to uncover it. I forgot. It's been a while. Literally like three days. A while. There we go. May that really take twice as long last time? Or is this one twice as strong now that I have a double power sword?
That felt exactly the same as the first time I fought that thing. Monsters have moved in and built a nest. Estimate the chance of finding a clue in the sand here as the ship's location is extremely low. Okay. So, uh... I did that for nothing. Cool. I, I guess we'll go through here next. Hey, I opened the door. Mr. Ship Captain, do you have any other ideas? Those big, stupid robot hands. My ship wasn't here. There's only one place left for us to look for clues. Hmm. Would be scary, but we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates who stole my ship. All right. So we have to go through the the pirate ship to get to the regular ship. The, I, I'm guessing the regular ship is not the dungeon. I maybe it is. I don't know. Tighten up whatever you humans have instead of bolts. Oh. Okay. Tighten up your balls and let's get going. Yar. I wonder when the first instance of the word human in Zelda was. You don't hear it very often. Usually people are referred to by their races, like Hylian or Gerudo or whatever. Just, right, human doesn't come up very often. Come to think of it, what was the deal with Link in Twilight Princess? Because he, he still had the pointed ears, right? Like, he was Hylian, despite growing up in Ordon, where people had round ears? That never crossed my mind. I wonder what his story was. The only reason I'm up and about like this is because of that time shift stone. I have nothing- oh, that's why he can't, like, leave the boat, because he's, like, in a time bubble. Kind of weird how we can go back and forth between them, and we're fine. Given that, like, nothing else can. It, just don't think about it too much. We'll climb the game cubes. Now, how involved is this gonna be? The way this is being presented makes it feel like this is going to be a dungeon. I should, I sh I should be whipping these bats for, like, monster horns. Hey, you. Yeah, give me your... No, that didn't... That didn't pull the horn or the claw from it. Even with the whip, you're not guaranteed to get monster drops. Nope, nope. Whip does not work on electric slime. I'm gonna lose all my hearts again! No, screw this. I don't need this. No, there's sand here! I didn't see the sand. Alright, well, I'm already back down to... Oh, well, Two-thirds of my hearts. I thought it was lower than that. How do I get in? Fi, what useless advice do you have for me? This is the pirate stronghold. If you want to return to the sea, talk to the skip. Thanks!
I'm glad that at absolutely any point in the game, I can count on Phi to tell me nothing of value. That's a good camera. Sword cam. Do you have any suggestions? No, I d I, I'm not afraid. I don't know how to get in. Is that- that's not something I can hookshot, that's a bat. Well, when in doubt, scope out. Let's go spelunking in the nose. Maybe that's got something. Wait, does it actually? <laughs> this is a tunnel, I had to do this, okay. Well, no, I didn't have to do this, but it was profitable to do so. Uh... The number of times I've just gotten dead stuck in this game. In a part of the game that it doesn't seem like the devs expected you to get stuck in? I, maybe they did, I don't know. actually has like a, a different percentage estimation for how prepared you are for each area. Find information. Yep, pirate stronghold. That's where we are. Here we are. I don't see anything to hook shot to. We already tried going in the nose, and that wasn't anything. Is there anything, anything up here we can do? Anything up on top? It's a cool looking base. If I were a pirate, I would have this for my base. Anything on the side? No? Nothing. It's gonna be something, like, totally obvious that I'm just missing. Well, that didn't work. Oh, there's a door. Yes, what is it? This device looks like it's meant to hold a time shift stone, but there's not one currently installed. Same type of device as the kinds we encountered in the Nehru mine. plan was to get to the, like, the main dungeon, and then call it. I'm guessing this is not itself the main dungeon, because I know there's the ship dungeon that we keep talking about. There's definitely a different format than the previous one. I'm glad we're just not going to the same temple we've already been to again. Because that, that'd be kind of lame to do that three times. Here's a time stone. 
This object is called a time shift orb. Unlike the time shift stones we've seen, this device was designed to be carried around and installed in different locations. Great! I was kind of, I was anticipating we'd do something like this at some point. No, leave me alone, Vokoblin. I don't need this. Why are y'all even mad at me? What did I do to you? Come on. Idiot. Okay, so logically, now I've gotten that chest in the future. In the past, it should still be closed and the item should still be inside. Immersion broken. Zero out of ten game. Oh, okay. Stuff just sprouts out of the ground in the past that I guess eroded. I gotta say, this doesn't quite feel like uh, like a pirate fortress. I was expecting a lot more piratey stuff. finding these horns all over the place. Where did we start today? We started with the uh, forest area tears thing, and then we did the return to the dungeon, and we did that dungeon. If we can get to the... Uh, if we can get to the start of this area's, like, final dungeon... I can't roll it. If we can get the start of this area's final dungeon, we might be able to do, like, both of the remaining dungeons next time. big thing to suggest. These, these have been some, like, pretty meaty dungeons. Pick it up, Link! It's just life popping up all around me. Is this a hold-down button? It is a hold-down button. Okay, what am I going to put there? Oh. Well, that problem was easily solved.
There's a lot of enemies here. I, I think Jack would struggle with this dungeon. I think he would feel the need to stop and fight everything, and it would make this take way, way longer. No, no lasers, please. Oh, there's another Beemos. I didn't even see you. Uh. Sorry if I'm low on commentary, there's not a lot left to say at this point. I'm just kind of doing dungeon puzzles. This is a neat idea for a dungeon, though. Uh, uh, the, 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 how, how do I do these things? I need the bellows. I have the bellows. Emperor bellows. Now get out the item once again. Dying to Armos because I'm fighting the controls. Uh, hmm, well, you can wait. No, no, go wait, go wait. Don't like fighting those things. Oh, it's not done. It's not done yet. I especially don't like fighting them at half a heart. I'm gonna die. This thing's gonna kill me. <sighs> Hearts. One heart. That's all I'll get. That, uh, that lady selling potions. Those potions sounding real tempting right now. Is there anything in this room before I stick this in? What are you? Oh, it's just a flower. Okay, I'll take it. There's someone leaving flowers in the corner of the room. Is it open? Can we go inside? What if this is the ship? Maybe this is the what maybe this is the entrance and the rest of it's like buried in the sand. The power of the time shift orb appears to have caused a change in the structure. I, we know that. Dick doesn't. Wait, where are we now? Hearts? Give heart. Heart. Mati, save me. Why is this down? Why is there a way down into the sand? That's suspicious. Oh, I guess this part was uh, this part was covered by the teeth previously. Oh, 
There is a 60% probability that these masts and sails are from the ship that protects Nehru's flame. You can now set your dousing ability to search for the ship that holds Nehru's flame. What do you mean, search for the ship? You just said it was the 60% probability. Is that not good enough? Dousing. Like, surely it's just, it's under the sand. What do you mean, douse? Uh... This door? No, it's not that door. Do we got a do we got a boat to it? Why is it out there? Maybe, maybe I'm not under not understanding. Are are the masts like have they been ripped off the boat? I found a clue. Yeah, okay. I guess we have to- we have to douse in our boat. How are we going to search this whole huge sea? I have no choice but to ask you to do it for me. So get cracking! There is a high probability don't you start. If we attack it, we might get a glimpse of it. Okay. Yep, I can just, uh, just dou dousing at sea. Imagine the image of someone on a pirate ship using a dousing rod. Tis a silly thought. a lot of robots in this game. Yeah, it's it's very strange how technologically advanced this first Zelda game is, quote unquote. What what is controlling this boat? Captain, please. You got to do better than this. Okay, so it seems like it's in here. That seems to be where the dousing thing is pointing to, but I don't have a way to like get in there. Maybe it's not. I don't know. No, it's not in there. It's over here. Pro I've come to think of it, it's probably in the, like, the third circle that we haven't been to yet. Can I just run over these things? Surely a boat running over them would be enough. Link, please. You're on a boat. Stop looking up. Link doesn't have the attention span for this. This this Link has ADHD. Every now and again he just thinks, hmm, the sky's nice today. Is this working? I thought it was right here. We just found it. Where'd it go?
Did we attack it and then it moved? It's actually moving. It's like the ghost ship in, uh, in Wind Waker, isn't it? Hello, Poe Collector. You've caught the tail end of the stream. As soon as I find this stupid, invisible boat... I'm gonna confront Wo Wonder Woman, I'm gonna end the stream. It said attack it, right? Am I not doing- I'm- surely I'm doing the right thing, right? Is this not attacking it? Is this what it feels to fight ho is this how it feels to fight hollows as a normal person? Problem is, as soon as you take your thing out to start attacking it, yeah. It's obnoxiously fast. Maybe, maybe we head it off. No, where are you going? Turn, please! Oh, it went that way. Okay, so... I keep thinking that I'm heading it off when, in fact, it's just going to, like, sand. I keep thinking, like, that's the edge of the ocean, but it's not the edge of the ocean. It's just the edge of my bubble. Yeah, I'll just get to the start of the dungeon. That'll be fast and easy. Three hours later. Finally! Wait, that wasn't enough? Yeah, I saw it. No, keep- no, don't keep going. That once is enough. Okay, three hits. Whichever Koopaling is on this thing, I'm gonna fucking destroy. Okay, we are on the sand ship. I wonder, did the ancient goddess, like, leave her flame? Did, did she entrust it to one of these robots? Were the robots around at the time that the ancient goddess was? Please tell me there's, there's a bird statue here. Maybe inside? I guess it would be hard to have one outside because of uh, you'd have to worry about its position on the map. There it is. Alright, we found the ship, we found the dungeon. I, I just hit five hours, so I think I think I'm ready to be done.
We will come back tomorrow. We're, we're still going. Day five tomorrow. And uh, hopefully, I can do this dungeon. I can do the prerequisites for the next one. And we can do the third dungeon revisit. The third flame. And we'll get that done. Hopefully all tomorrow. That, that, that's, that's my plan. That's what I'd like to see happen. That's it for the stream today. Uh, same time tomorrow, about uh, 1 or 2 p.m., another five hours. Depending, we might be able to get this done in two more streams. That's what it sounds like, but we'll see. I, I don't know the rest of this game, so I'm just, I'm guessing. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I will see you next time.